Oh, look at these graphical upgrades. Fancy. No explosions. What's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. From the Rakata, then you are a spy and must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. Okay. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready. Get started. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm ready when you are. What? <laughs> uh, um. Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? Yes! <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received 200. Oh my god! Oh god! was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword. Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my Not impressed. Thanks, guys. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? This is a bit of a problem. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound is impressive. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty close to a good plan. Why, well, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. Arch enemy discovered. Okay. Whoops. Whoa. 
Sorry. Sorry. Something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Got to go. Oh my God, the timing. Where did it come from? And he's completely unmoved by what he's just walked in on too. Science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It's so nice to see the traps can cause trouble for the other. Technically correct. The best type of correctness. That is correct. What's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up? See, that's much better. That stuff serves a useful purpose. The hell was that? I've never seen that before. Technically, we're into November. Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Ah. oh shit! Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Wait, is that supposed to be Douglas Adams? Oh my god. It's Douglas Adams and Terry Pratchett. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. What the? What? What is going on? I guess those are the quote-unquote dead Ewoks. What? You're kidding me. Wow. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's it going, Aaron Lore Greeny? It's so good to see you. 
What's going on today? How are you feeling today, Greeny, after uh, your big return yesterday? That was a really fun stream. I'm glad I got to hang out for a bit. How's everybody doing? We're going to be playing some City Skylines 2 today. And I just realized, I commented on this uh, over on the Discord. I just realized this is the second to last stream before my freaking break. What happened to December? Holy crap. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do about the long stream of the month this month. <clears throat> because it could be tomorrow, probably tomorrow. But it uh, also could be the 31st. <clears throat> But we'll have to see. I'm, I'm leaning towards tomorrow just because I always thought of the 31st New Year's stream as being more of a bonus stream. So we'll see what happens there. But man, seriously, what happened to December? I blinked and the month disappeared on me. So we're going to do cities. Where's the game? Ben, how's it going? I'm glad you're doing good, Greeny. Doing all right? Still need to get food? Yeah, I had to rush that a little bit. Renamar, how's it going? Good to see you. It poofed? Probably. Okay, where are we? We just got to wait on the city's launcher here. So yeah, I'm thinking probably long stream tomorrow. Probably super long stream. I don't know what we're going to play. Uh, uh, like I said, yeah, oh, you mean uh, December poofed. It seriously did. Trying to decide if I want to do a little dungeon video before you head to work or not? Seems like a good time for it. You got your Xbox. That's amazing, Ben. How is it? What have you been playing? Tell me all about it. So have you seen much of this game, Greedy? It occurs to me that this only came out after your internet uh, fun times began. Uh, we want Gordlandia. My latest city is about up to 165k population or so. It's interesting to see the residential demand be primarily high density, have almost no low density left. They all got abandoned, so you rezoned. Yeah, I'm going through that same process now, and I'm not nearly that high a population. Look at my demand bars here. I've got a bit of medium residential demand and a lot of high density residential demand. I haven't had low density demand in ages. There's been nothing. I've seen bits and pieces of you playing it. Obviously not a huge amount because of situations, but you have seen some. This is so good, Greeny. It's, it's such a great game, and what the heck was that water sound? That's... Oh, I think that might actually be construction equipment. It sounds like water to me. So, yeah, this is the area that I've got under active development right now. We were setting this up last time, uh, sort of as a support area for the new Birch Springs University the city needed. <clears throat> so we might end up working with this a little bit later today. I've also got to maybe rethink about letting these, you know, the natural resource things take up quite so much land. I don't know that they necessarily need to be the full circle. Minecraft Skate 3, GTA 5, just bought Tomb Raider Legend. You plan to stream that Saturday. That's awesome, Ben. You're going to 100% Tomb Raider Legend? Oh, nice. I'm struggling with industrial. Apparently, my current industrial is all showing red suitability, so you have to basically move it away from the city? Oh, God. Uh, speaking of abandoned, there's another low-density house going the way of the dodo. We're going to replace that. Do we have a lot of... We don't have a huge amount of commercial in the area. So I'm going to pop in some mixed uses there. Don't mind the abrupt transition to night. It was night when I loaded the game in. It's just that it defaults today, and I hadn't unpaused the game. 
<clears throat> I still love this. This is really fun. I like that we finally, finally got to use an above ground subway station. It looks really cool. I might make it a point to use a few more of these in different places. CD, how are you doing? I hope... I won't ask or say I hope all is well because I know all is not well, but I hope you're at least as okay as can be expected under the circumstances. Need to decide to what else to put on the stream radar besides Alan Wake 2, obviously. Outer Worlds is on the docket. Yeah, Outer Worlds... Outer Worlds is good. I actually need to finish playing that myself one day. That's one I never completed. I'm also really, really interested in playing The Outer Wilds. I don't know if you've looked at that one, Greeny. That was the one that came out around the same time and everybody got confused by the names. Very different style of game. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we have a nice little block in here. What is going on with this power line? Oh, that has to connect there, does it? You know what? That does not have to connect there. Oh, you streamed at a... You... I must have seen you stream it. I guess I'd forgotten. One of your earlier stream games, you think? Very cool game, atmospheric, very good puzzles. Yeah, I still haven't gotten to it. One of these days, I will get to it. I really need to. Okay, right now, I'm feeling as close to okay as I have since I got the news, which is a big thing to be able to say. <clears throat> From moment to moment, it can change, but I'm all right now. That's definitely something, CDI. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, we are going to upgrade this. Might be okay on the highway. Let's upgrade the road in the middle there. Just going to pop this up to a four-laner. What do we need? Um, I think what we'll probably do... Let's do a little bit of high density. Maybe just like this. And the rest can be medium density. another new thing to fix. I was wondering why I was generating so much juice and having problems. You didn't set up more than one transformer? Oh god, Renamar. Yeah. One game I played in the dark times, the offline times, was near replicant. I got to the fourth playthrough. Wow, that's a lot of playthroughs. What the? Oh, what? Oh, shoot. Right. They're connected by highway.
<clears throat> Might get through that, then stream the fifth playthrough for the true ending, because that's how the near games work. Interesting. Okay, I know pretty much nothing about the near games. I didn't know that Tomb Raider Legend was one of Xbox's backwards compatible games until you checked out what they had there. I don't think I've ever really spent a significant amount of time with any of the Tomb Raider games before tw the Tomb Raider 2013 release. I've played bits and pieces of a few of them, but that's just not something I've really gotten to very often. I do think I own pretty much every single Tomb Raider game. But that's more recently because of bundles and stuff like that, uh, not because I kept up with them, you know? <clears throat> You've beaten Tomb Raider Legend quite a few times, but never 100%ed it. Oh, you can do the... Oh, that's so cool. I did not realize you could do the uh, soundproofing or the, you know, the sound containment walls on this type of highway. That's very nice. the end of the highway. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now that we've got this going in, let's maybe see about how we get them out again. How's transit looking? So we've got the express line going through here. They're not too far from the bus station. Might be time to start revisiting. Bus loops, you know what? taxi stand there and I think I'm gonna do a pair of bus connections there okay we've got pedestrian crossings over here and here so they can walk around if they need to I'm thinking Is it right down there? Okay. It's weirdly hard to see them when you go into this mode. Bus stops here would do. Hammer, how's it going? Good to see you. You're listening to Yeah, I think that'll do. So what we're gonna do is who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the connect this up to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. <clears throat> My dear Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, 
Uh, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor. Mm. Uh, but I digest to continue. There we go. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. Friends have been such a there big help and support while I try to cope as best I can. That includes no you. Thank you for being so understanding. Oh, jeez. You don't need to say anything, CD. Thank you, but... I just hope you're okay over the holidays, you know? A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, I, I seriously can't even imagine what it's like. Good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. Okay. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological rewards. Yeah, it looks like all of our low-density stuff is gradually vanishing. Rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But while we are discussing oh, the boy. study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more. Yeah, I think we had stores, issues with this last time. I'm pretty sure this you was shop for designer shoes a time of day thing. A fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks. Started noticing the low density Look weren't even it. being lived in before they got destroyed. You were clearing whole blocks of abandoned buildings. Oh man. All my low density is old enough that I don't think there's anything that's never been lived in. <sighs> what am I gonna do about this frickin' intersection? I mean, I know they're too close together here. I suppose that's what I could do about it. to have yeah that needs to have tram tracks so I can fix the problem by not putting the two intersections close together I'll just turn them into one intersection easy peasy enough road though. I should have made that eight lanes.
I don't love that little dip in the road there. I might smooth that out eventually, but I'm not going to worry about it for right this moment. Oh, they're not loving this extra sharp turn to go right, I don't think. But they'll survive. Oh, the other thing I can do, actually, I made a goof here. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. There's no choice when it's an eight lane road. When it's a divided road, the tracks get separated into their own lanes that you can't drive in. But with eight lane, there is only eight lane divided. There's no undivided eight lane roads. So you don't really have a choice. If I were still with the original six lanes, I could make it so that they can drive on the lanes the track the trains use. But not so much the way I've got it now. Hopefully that's enough to help the traffic sort itself out. I actually suspect there's still going to be some issues because this is just a really busy interchange. I wonder if I could maybe help that by adding in some more connections. Oh, come on, game. Be up. Hmm. I think we're too close to the highway. that they can take that might reduce some of the strain on this one. I guess the other option I have is I could just elevate the highway instead of elevating all these bridges over and then I could use more of the space too. Sadly, it looks like that hasn't really solved a whole lot over here. I mean, I need to give it some time to work through, though. I think this will have an impact, but it's going to take some time for all the traffic on the road to recalculate routes and cycle through, so to speak. Yeah, I really am starting to think that maybe elevating the highway might be something that's got to happen. I don't know that it needs to happen right now, but I think it will have to happen. Actually, you know, this isn't too bad. It looks like it's working through pretty well. 
It's taking a while for everything to clear, but that's okay. This is maybe more of a problem. Oh, that's fairly backed up, isn't it? Where's everybody going here? This looks like it's the same, though. This is already eight lanes with the dedicated uh, two lanes for the trams. Guys, sorry to do this to your houses and whatnots, but I think I've got to upgrade this street here. And actually... This one too. Yeah, okay, so now they've got two right hand turn lanes, two directly forward lanes, and one left turn lane. Hopefully that'll be okay. This is certainly cleared out a lot quicker. Oh yeah, look at that. Holy crap, that's so much better. Or it will be once all the ridiculous crush of pedestrian traffic is out of the way. And that was caused when I demolished all these buildings. What the heck is with all of these red buses? What? What line is this? Line three. Nine vehicles? What is this route? Oh, that's one of my older, really complicated routes. Okay, we might need to revisit those and maybe split them up or something. That was a big residential tower to be abandoned. I guess it needs to be high density. This one as well? What the heck? I don't know that I want that one to be high density. Let's do mixed uses. The commercial properties underneath might help offset some of the rent that the others are having trouble paying. And yeah, there's a lot of Local commercial in this area. Are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden Green on the city just redeemed terrible pun or dad joke. I a met a shepherd toilet. while crossing Cut a field. The we talked about you. With a friend. Wow, it has been a while, hasn't it, Greeny? We can do that. I should warn everybody, we have had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so hold on to your butts. There's a reason they're called that. Let me find my joke thing. Where are we? Here we are. Okay. Why did the horse move stables? He couldn't stand the neighbors. There you go. No, the point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. Wow. More after this. We're, we're live, There's actual um, traffic here? About a traffic accident, 
uh, somewhere. That's uh, actually really city. bad. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect hmm. the and drive safe. The problem is. I can't upgrade this highway and maintain its speed. I would have to replace it with multi-lane highways, like uh, you know, the the one ways. I can't do a unified road like this. I can upgrade the capacity of the road, no problem, but it would have to become a road and it would lose its 100 speed limit. Enjoy your lurk, Garen Lar. Where are they all going? What is, is, this has got to be related to the crush of new move-ins over here, right? Because that's actually being handled pretty well. Why is it down here that everything is all messed up? That's really odd, and this is really bad too. Why are they stopping here? Hang on, let's give them another lane to work with. Oh, crap, right. They're very close to the water here. enough, huh? That is not in water. You try and tell me that's in water. That's better. One day I'll play a map where I can use hydroelectric power. I've had the same thought. I accidentally flooded my city when I tried it, so you had to kill the dam. Oh no. Uh, my map, not exactly suited to hydroelectric power either. Uh, where was my highway I was working on now? I don't even know. here. Yeah, okay, that's helped a lot. And they seem to be all right here. Yeah, I really have this terrible feeling I may need to do something about this highway. I guess... Uh, mm. Have you ever tried overlaying a highway, like have it run above a regular street, Renamar? Or the other way around, have a regular street run over a, a highway.
I've experimented with it, but the transitions don't work well. Whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> I'm going to play a little bit with the concept. So what we have over there is one of these four-lane two-way highways. That distance, I don't think it matters. It's going to peter out before it gets to here, even if it were making a direct beeline. It just caught me off guard, that's all. So that actually could work. <laughs> That's a little questionable. We've got pillars right in one of the traffic lanes, but the game seems to accept it. I could probably deal with that by, um, oh, come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I maybe use more separation between the highway lanes, it might work better. Maybe what we want to do is a little bit more in the way of precision. If I put that in as a guide. Split it two lane, two surface street, two lane highway overhead. Um, maybe. Oh, that's not going to be the right amount of separation. That looks potentially doable. not quite enough.
That's not really over, though. That's, like, really tightly alongside. Hmm. came along and no I can't upgrade into that of course running that tightly alongside would not necessarily be a bad thing although because we're dealing with uh, you know the, the real thing back there is curved that would be a little bit of a nightmare to try to route. Medium density. Man, even the medium density is going away. It's a real shame you can't do the automatic parallel with different types of roads and at different elevations. That would make this so easy. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance mm. to hear the music of yesteryear. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats out. Well, I suppose what I could do boat, is bypass it. I could give them a route <clears throat> onto here. Um, our story this hour, Kim is. Then it would be a question of whether they would use it or not. Ab abandoned building. That's right, Jim. This decaying shell is a symbol of the industrial decline sweeping the city. People are being laid off. The industrial sector is on the verge of collapse. And worryingly, crime is on the rise. Thanks, Kim. Always gotta watch out for crime. Not to mention collapsing buildings. We'll have more after this. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna be as easy as I'd hoped. Well, I could just start with a simple interchange to begin with. Oh. <laughs> Turn off parallel mode. What does this have to do with the train tracks? Come on, game. Make it make sense.
this has not... No, why? Is it trying to build an extra... Okay. I'll redo that curve anyway. if this gets too busy and I need to upgrade it or something. And plus, I can reroute this. This does not necessarily have to run quite so close to the highway. If that needs to bump out more towards here, that's doable. This is now the closest highway connection to this whole area, including the airport. Which means, yes, this is absolutely going to become very popular and it's absolutely going to require upgrading. So I might as well go ahead and preemptively move this train line, actually. Because there's no way that's going to last. What do you mean? Stop that. That's ridiculous. There we go. That's better. Ah, oh, Mangalos, no. Spider-Man 2 is one of the great tragedies of my streaming career. It's one of my favorite games. I really, really love it but I have never played a game that is so poisonous to the stream. I haven't had viewership that low in a good eight years. Nobody comes to watch that one. It's just death. So I'm not gonna be streaming it anymore. Or if I do, it's possible I might actually continue streaming it. It's gonna be pretty rare. <laughs> I am thinking about maybe continuing my playthrough and just recording it for YouTube and putting it on there so people can still watch the playthrough if they want to. But it, it was just, it was a complete disaster. <laughs> oh no, it has nothing to do with what was going on in the game. It's just that people do not want to watch Spider-Man 2 for whatever reason. My viewership numbers completely tanked while on fire. I have a pretty long history at this point, especially over the last few years, of playing those big open world action games like um, Horizon Forbidden West and Far Cry 6 and Spider-Man 2 and they've done nothing for me and Spider-Man 2 did so badly, I think it actually might have hurt the channel rather than helping it. I gonna do about this highway I think I might have to just lose the highway
That's better. I think when I get my game, I'll rage so much that I'll stay until 12 a.m. and my dad will get mad if I stay up that late. Could happen. Could happen. Now, it's uh, Spider-Man 2 is honestly one of my favorite games of this year. It's just... It, it was it w it was really not a good choice for the stream. I love the game. One of the best games I've played, seriously. But <sighs> oh, uh, one and a half minute warning, guys! I almost didn't notice that. We've got an ad coming up in one and a half minutes. Okay, so now this is slower. But I think that's just what we got to do. I don't, I don't think we can get away with having the highway anymore. So let's just go and upgrade the rest of this, I suppose. Oh, that's weird. Why? What? I think we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. When you first play it, you'll die like 5,000 times. That's just how games work. Nothing wrong with that. You got to learn, and then you can get good. You can't do it the other way around. All right, guys. I need to start that break, so if you need to get up and grab any food or drinks or snacks or anything like that, please uh, feel free to do so. This is a good time to do it. I'm just going to run some ads, or run some clips, rather, while the ads are on. So you're not going to miss anything, and I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes. So, I'll see you back then. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. Wait, wasn't I just using Obi-Wan? Do it. Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Good doing business with you. What was that? them very much myself. Oh. Wow. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I love this. Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, no. 
deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? Well, this is off to a good start. <laughs> Oh, nice. That was awesome. I kept expecting some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming, actually. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> just for fun you know a little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off i would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge the mere thought of it's preposterous oh come on there's got to be times when you've thought about it don't be so stuck up you can tell me i am not stuck up i merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be childish is that a crack about my age you ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> well, that answers the... your question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. I am so confused. Oh, no, no. Ah, crap. Come on, Mako, you can do it. Make your forebears proud. There we go. Crap. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. Sock puppet hounds. That'll do it. You don't get a much closer view than this. That's a pretty good tidbit to share right at this moment. <laughs> oh my god, that timing was amazing. It looked like she fell on the wolf and crushed it. Pardon me, this program is too stupid to glean your desire from such a wonderfully crafted sentence. Please try something else. Oh no, what the hell? Oh crap. 
And Starro, what the hell are you doing here? Oh crap. <laughs> Synthetic stomach, huh? Oh, good. And Stara, you would be the one that does medical stuffs. Uh-oh. Um. Aranor has failed catastrophically while operating on Anstara. Skill trainer. <laughs> uh, is that a hint? Aranor. Okay, I am back. Okay, so this is the last stretch of highway here. Let's get that upgraded. Ye oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Sorry about your buildings. Gotta be done. So now traffic is slower, but they've got more lanes to spread out into. And it's upgradable. I can still bump it up to a seven lane asymmetric or an eight lane if I need to. God, why do we have so many places waiting for hearses? Holy crap. Plots there. Uh, I'll do mixed uses there and a regular building there. Ooh, this is a uh, medium density already. Interesting. Let's try doing mixed on that. Okay, this is getting kind of busy. Why is this so busy? Oh, it's, yeah, it's what I predicted. It's the highway. What's that? That's a transformer station. That's actually awkwardly placed. 
I may need you to move. Just temporarily. You're going right there, and we're upgrading this whole road. This telecom tower, you gotta go to. like I thought that was too close to the highway so we're gonna have to redo that That's as far as that's going. That's okay. That's fine. We got what we needed. God, I took out half my highway interchange. We need to put that back in. Um, here should be okay. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. There well, we, we are. could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the aurora borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this evening. So it what's everyone got planned for the weekend? I hope everyone's got some good stuff lined up. I've been thinking more about the whole long stream situation and I'm kind of thinking, definitely gonna do the long stream tomorrow. 
but I might also do one on New Year's. So I would be starting at noon on December 31st. You know, kind of taking a little bit of uh, vacation from my vacation, as it were. And then I would just keep on streaming until 2 or 3 a.m. in the new year. Hey, X-Wing, what's going on? In Denmark, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. Interesting. So kind of a Christmas Eve sort of deal. Yeah, it still hasn't really quite sunk in yet that it's already December 22nd and therefore it's like two or three days till Christmas. Two days till Christmas Eve. The road does not reach the vehicle entry or exit point. I don't understand that at all. Because it very obviously does. Everything is connected, I swear. it expects me to connect a road in here but I don't think it's going to allow that Mom's been working on a classic English Christmas cake, so was by to taste it today? Oh, that sounds amazing. I guess I need to decide what my Christmas baking is going to be this year. You probably need to work on that on Sunday, I guess. Not going to have time tomorrow, that's for sure. A month? Holy crap, X-Wing. That is some cake. I forgot about this. Yeah, usually when I do Christmas baking, it's... Uh, more along the lines of Christmas cookies or something like that. I've never tried doing a cake. I don't think I'm going to try that this year, but next year, maybe. That could be interesting. Definitely won't be doing a cake that takes a month to create. Why on earth do we have all this traffic coming around here? Why is...
is this such a fascinating route for you guys? Surely you're not all coming from the firefighting helicopter depot that I never renamed. After you bake it, you douse it with rum once or twice a week for a month. The cake is mostly various dried fruits, so it absorbs all the alcohol. Also means the cake can last for a long time in the fridge. Oh, that's amazing. I like rum cake. Also brought, bought all their presents, had to. His friends have sent me a lot of presents to open on Sunday, too, so you wouldn't be able to carry it all. Oh, no. Not the worst problem to have, though. Okay, interesting. I think I might need to upgrade this section too. Yeah, we've got too much traffic trying to get up in here and they can't turn quickly enough. Okay, all right. gonna have to move temporarily. Usually don't get presents from friends, so there were tears when one of them dropped off a small sack full they had bought together. Oh man, that's really cool. Got another 25 buck Xbox gift card and Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition is on sale for 76% off or 75% off. That's amazing, Ben. That said, that said, keep in mind that in 2024, we are getting the, um, the new Fallout version 
which is probably going to be something roughly equivalent to Skyrim's special edition. So you might want to just, uh, you know, keep that in mind as well. Got a hint that to Bethesda managing to sell their games to the same people three, four times. I mean, it's not just Bethesda. I am picking up for Christmas the Baldur's Gate 3 Ultimate Edition because I really, 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 really want that, even though this is going to be the third version of the game that I bought. Because I already had the digital deluxe for PC from back in 2000. And then I bought the, you know, like the, the gigantic collector's box for PlayStation 5. But then they came out with this Ultimate Edition that's got the map and everything, and I, I, I'm weak. Uh, it's one of them, X-Wing. There's two. There's the giant one that includes the Mind Flayer statue. I got that. That's, like, the box is sitting over there. part of it. The Mind Flayer is not on there because I haven't actually assembled it yet, but uh, yeah, this, this is part of it. And it comes with this fancy book and everything. It's a really, really nice set. <clears throat> but they have another one coming out with a whole different set of things, and I had to get that one too. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor It's road true, Aranor. <sighs> Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public Oh, announcement. 61 passengers. That this is a pretty popular line. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect okay, this is moving so much better. Industry That's really good. On the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Yeah, it really does. So uh, it, it was the shirt that did me in. It doesn't come with the uh, deluxe edition or whatever. But I saw that they were releasing a Baldur's Gate 3 shirt. And a lot of my shirts have been wearing out lately. So I thought, you know what? I need that shirt. And then I ended up pulling the trigger on the, uh, the game as well. Since I was already getting it from there. But I've never had a game that's tempted me so badly to get so many different editions of it, especially physical editions. I never get physical editions anymore. And I, like, just a year ago, I would have sworn that the only game that would tempt me to get another physical edition was going to be Civilization VII when that comes out. Turns out not so much. Turns out others can do it to me as well. Oh man, look at all these empty, low density zone spots. They really are just emptying out completely. And then we've got this one here, my God. I think in some cases what's happening is I'm missing the notification that a building's gone abandoned and it just gets torn down. And so the lot sits empty and I just never notice.
Fallout 4 bought and downloading. Very nice. I had some disappointing experiences with statue quality in collector's edition, so I haven't bought any since the first Horizon Zero Dawn. I like the statue quality in the uh, the Baldur's Gate set. It's just that I need to sit down and really figure out how to attach the Mind Flayer to it because I tried it casually for a little while and I wasn't able to get it to stick. But I haven't actually taken the time to really do it and I need to get on that because I owe you guys pictures of the whole set and I haven't done that yet. I also owe you pictures of all these guys, the uh, Advent stuff. Speaking of Advent stuff, I hadn't realized that tomorrow was going to be my last stream until the 31st. So I'm not sure what we do about the last couple of days of Advent. Do we go ahead and do the 24th and 25th tomorrow? Or do I wait and do it on the New Year stream? Or what do you think is appropriate? Do them tomorrow? Okay. That makes it easy. Another one abandoned. Oh, look at this. Renamar, if you're still around, you're right. All this low-density crap is just sitting here empty. Six DLC? Yeah. Yeah, if it's the Game of the Year edition, that's all of the DLC. You'll have everything. this doing that's looking pretty good that's looking pretty good we may have solved this problem at least for the time being though I am still very tempted to elevate this highway and make better use of the land through here broadcast to all citizens the fire and rescue service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest <laughs> the billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby at this time all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control well, I can't even see the fire from here so I'm not gonna worry about it too much but I love the achievement that just popped for that now they're all ash trees Sad you missed the collector's edition of Rogue Trader. You know, Rogue Trader looks very tempting, I've got to say. I have never played a Warhammer game of any kind, video game or tabletop or anything. But I think that one will end up being the first one that I play. It is so good, but good that you wait so that they can patch it some more. Yeah, that's fine. I 
not suffering a shortage of stuff to play in the meantime. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! The forest fire is here. <laughs> okay. That actually is a little bit of a different matter then. That's, that's kind of unfortunate. It's a good thing that we've got firefighting helicopters. Because that actually... I planted this forest specifically to try to soak up some of the pollution that was left when I had the gas power plant here. That, that fire is actually spreading qu pretty quickly. Pretend Central Park, it's more like Pollution Park, but yes. Here comes the helicopter. Oh god, that is spreading really fast. Oh, wow. Okay. The chopper is able to cover quite a large area. Uh, but that's not going to do it. That's going to spread really fast as well. I hope it's able to grab more water really quickly. Where is that helicopter? Where did you go? There you are. Uh, job's not done yet, sir. Oh god. I might need another firefighting helicopter depot. So happy Fallout 4 game of the year was on sale. Yeah. Still one of my top favorite games of all time, that one. It's so good. What is... Overlapping item. Oh! Right. We have this little forestry thingy over here. I guess that's not going to work. Where am I going to put this thing? Oh god, look at it! Oh man. I don't suppose there's space over here. Almost. You know, I bet... If I were to just run a little road, oh, let's do a straight road. Right there. Almost, I just need to smooth that out a little bit. That's getting kind of scary looking. Oh man, so many helicopters. Well, I guess I can't really have too many, can I? I think they've got it under control now. Each 
one down. Wow, they have up to five. Okay. Christmas is saved. And now that I've You're got the two. The second moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. Um, that's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by yeah. an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome we'll have that one served that so area. Shortage is bad and where's the other one? Here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within Shoot, the where did I put the helicopter thingy? It's a technical term, by the way. Apart from the actual where are important. the helichoppers? Temper, consider one, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. Ah, but while we are discussing is. the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank life. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. Still have enough in your Microsoft wallet to get some backwards compatible games. Very nice. That actually reminds me, I need to check out the sale on GOG. I love getting classic games back, uh, yeah, from there. Look at this. These are literally, they're sitting empty. Jesus. Okay, those, those are not the same. That one's empty. That one's empty. We're in the middle of a housing crisis and we've got so many homes sitting just completely empty. <laughs> I'll move into one of those places if that helps. It, honestly, it would. It would help. Thank you, Avert. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Just doing the holiday stuff. Made a few bird feeders for Christmas present yesterday. Very cool. I hope they turned out well. to work with the wood I had so they're all different. Hey, that's not a bad thing. Don't think of that as a flaw. Think of that as unique gifts. Jesus. 
because there's so many abandoned lots here. only the second time I played the new update for Cities 2 and it's really good. Okay, where else would I have a lot of low density residential? Probably in here. Oh, we actually still have people living in some of these, though. But not that one. And not that one. And not that one. Getting ready for a very short day at work and looking for an awesome streamer to watch while I lurk. You are too kind, AMZ. Wow, Aaron Lar. <laughs> but actually, speaking of looking for awesome streamers to watch, were you guys aware that Greeny Trini is finally back and streaming again after far too many months away from streaming due to circumstances beyond his control? He has returned. Okay, so that's a big area we just cleared out. I think we're gonna do higher density stuff in here. We're gonna do the full buildings. That's, a, that's true, Aaron Lord. That's true. Or at least I try. Interesting how there are some areas where they're still clinging on to their population, but other areas are just completely abandoned. tempted to just call out of work just to stream again, but you need to work. I understand the temptation. Wretched. Wow. 
I might actually put in some office space in here. Give people a little bit of a chance at more work close to home. I'm kind of changing up your schedule, though. Cutting out Monday nights, replacing with Wednesday nights. Oh, that's actually nice. I think I've only actually hung up a phone like twice. Most of my phones were wall-mounted and now cell phones. Yeah. I would have no idea how often I've actually legit hung up a phone. But I did have a number of wall-mounted phones, so it would be a fairly high number, I expect. See, this is another one of those areas where the low density is actually hanging on to its population, mostly. curious why I'm doing this it's basically preemptive instead of allowing these houses to go vacant I'm just taking care of it now because we've got a lot of demand for people to move in so I might as well fill it and get rid of the abandoned properties so that they don't become a problem down the road Greeny. These houses that I'm knocking down are specifically the ones that are already abandoned. Nobody lives there. Because if I don't, then this happens. And they actually go literally abandoned. Which increases crime. And all sorts of other fun stuff. Water looks disgusting? What do you mean? Oh, here? Yeah, that's another reason why I'm tempted to get a different map going one of these days. Because I think maybe the what water in this area is not working properly. Over past? here, well, it's working better. The but the water itself. flow does here not seem to ever world, move the pollution know. in this area. It's just stayed there the whole game. Eyes, Even though I have not had any behind. kind of waste dumping in this area since the earliest stage and of the game. On to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. As the it does look like it's moved a little bit, actually. This used to be polluted too, to but it's being very, now, very slow to clear up. While sipping a fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me, that's good for business and good for the yeah, community. Yeah, 
You would Thanks, think so, Aaron Larm. We'll be back after this. I do Andrew's wonder if maybe if you started a, a new Sources city on this map now that the that game is updated, like if you with. started after you know the update, if it would work it better. We're not I wonder if it's maybe about. just a legacy well, issue. Because no, obviously this pollution it, is having no problem moving around with the water flow. This doesn't seem to be moving all that well. Runoff from Tim Hortons, wow. economy is booming. More after this. I would say more runoff from Taco Bell. One minute warning, by the way. We have a break coming up in one minute. How's the ground pollution in this area? Is that still craptastic as well, I wonder? Yes, it is. So the trees don't seem to really be helping all that much in this area. Wasn't the coffee I was thinking of, Aranar? Oh, what's this? Oh, crap, no vehicles. Okay. Well, when I get back from this break, we're going to have to look at adding some more, um, more capacity to our, our bus network. For now, I need to take a quick break. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this would be a very good time to do it. And I will meet you back here in about three and a half to five minutes. What the heck is this thing? Yeah, um, that that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath a vehicle. Oh. Okay. Well. Oh. Oh. oh okay. That's a little more. I need two more saltpeter, and I should be able to do it. Lucas has to stop picking up books. We're going to end up with them everywhere. <laughs> you step on a part of the track which is extremely narrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad except the sudden stop at the end. I know you. The only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's just You taste my well, sword! Another maggot. I'm not afraid of my Not impressed. Thanks, guys. I think I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. <Nope. laughs> okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. He's never going to get ahead in life. But we will. The decaying corpse lies before you. Oh, it's a strength check? Maybe I should use Carlac. This is why I pick up possibly important corpses and carry them on my characters who aren't in the party. Oh god. I hope you never find employment as an executioner. You've do you want to do this? The head from the drow's twisted neck. Oh 
see now why Malik followed you. Even though you're only a shell of that informed self, you're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power. There you are. It. What? But. It dumped it right and literally next to me. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Othgard. That was perfect. Oh crap. And I'm back. Thank you, Aaron Laura. Okay. Thank you, Greeny. I wonder where we could fit in some high density. This could work. It's probably not gonna work. Maybe here and here. Wow, that's ugly, but we're going to make that work. That'll be okay. Like we can upgrade this. Let's get rid of that. We're going to put in a shiny brand new underground parking facility. And then we'll put in an office park right next door. Actually, let's make it high density. Oh, and this is right by a bus stop too. That's actually very convenient. So while we're at it, I'm going to put a crosswalk in there. So that'll make this a little bit of a parking go. A subway station here too, which needs upgrading. There we go.
Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. It's going to take a little bit for that to start getting used again, but that's okay. start emptying this and I might try to reclaim the space and rebuild it elsewhere. Hate downloading on Wi-Fi, it's so slow. Yeah. I'm fortunate. That's something I don't usually have to worry about. Okay, you know what? I think I really do want to try elevating this highway. I might elevate both of them, actually. Driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow up. We're, we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident. Uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the road. You wouldn't either, but your Ethernet cable is, is dead. Well, that floats our I hope boat. you're able to There's get no a new one soon. This boat, Glenda. Okay, so first thing we do is drop this train line down to the ground. get our two-lane highway. Oh, I guess it probably helps if I elevate it. Oh, and there we go. It's going to be a... Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want that to be a level crossing. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of this, too. That's going to be fun. Why is that 20 meters? <laughs> that, that's going to be a bit of a slope.
Okay, 10 meters. That should be good. go to pure parallel mode and we're just going to draw this straight across where it should be running and then I'll link it up after the fact I don't think that's supposed to look like that. I don't think I wanted to do that either. I think I just deleted a whole interchange for the airport. Well, that's fine, I'm sure it's fine. Yes. Undoubtedly. Well, that's okay. We can rebuild that interchange too. Uh, that looks like it's actually coming off the power plant. So that's that elevated. 
now we're gonna have to put in a thing over here. We had a bad storm last night and I didn't get a wink of sleep, but bonus in my sleep adult state, I have written a good portion more on our upcoming TTRPG for Star Wars. That's amazing. I'm sorry to hear about the lack of sleep though. That does suck. I guess the roundabout trick's not going to work very well with these, is it? Haven't had a real storm here all year. Oof. That doesn't sound so nice. Seem to have run out of street names because on closer inspection I seem to have five spruce streets all running parallel and on major roads, oddly enough. Yeah, that's been one of my complaints basically since day one, Renamar. The name list for the game for streets is really not very diverse, and it repeats a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. You wouldn't believe the number of times that I found Amity Street intersecting with Amity Street. So I'm hoping that's a thing that they're going to improve soon as well. The other thing that drives me crazy is how easy it is for streets to rename themselves. Which, honestly, they need to be able to do that in a game like this. But you need to have a way to lock in a specific name if you like it, or especially if you named it yourself. I would be shocked if there isn't, Aranor. But if there isn't, there probably will be one soon, just because they've um, they've announced that official modding support is coming next year. You know, I probably should have waited until I had... If... How am I going to do this? Unfortunately, that only works for the one side. CS1 had extensive modding, so I would be surprised if CS2 didn't. It doesn't yet, but they're going to have it. Well, I'll worry about the other side later. Oh, delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listener. 
What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yeah, soul. A raison d'etre. Mm. Okay, that's, I think, where My it's going to come back down to ground because it has to go games, underground after that point. Got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say... Is for the lay person. Oh God, Aaron Lar. Let me see if I can copy that. The link broke a little bit. That's actually pretty reasonable. I've seen worse. I've created worse. Just trying to think of the best way to do this. That's the more reasonable one. A bit west of that across the river is the truly nuts one where you have to get off, cross under it on a surface street, then get back on to go the other way. down here too because I messed all this up. Oh, let's get some of the important stuff here. Uh, oh, thank God. Okay, all the these things look like they're in good shape. Hmm. 
no issues with the pillars. So that works. And then we need to do Grove Street as well. Almost forgot there's an intersection there at all. Oh, uh, we're not so lucky here. I need Hemlock Street so close to over here. Intersections too close. <sighs> that one's inconvenient as well. saw the new sci-fi film Rebel Moon today. You didn't like it? Why is that? be a bit crowded but you can fit the entire population of Canada in California there's a lot of area in California that's not habited like uh, a lot of open space isn't there by open space I don't mean empty plains I mean like forests and stuff
tree houses. Pretty much guaranteed that I'm gonna have to watch it now, X Wing. Oh, what happened there? That's weird. A friend of mine saw the new Aquaman today and got a long text rant on how terrible it is. No path available to destination. Not sure if this was supposed to be You know what? I think that might Second be another radio, rail line. J. Thomas Hornbuckle. It's Tune about to be. Whether it was originally or not. Music of yesteryear. What else might have I have screwed up to get rid of my tracks? see what the problem is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's a bus line. It's because the airport roads are all messed up. Okay, never mind. It's a DC live action movie. It will be loved by a very specific audience and hated by everyone else. I'll probably be okay with it. But I haven't seen the first Aquaman movie, so I'm not even thinking about the second one yet. Apparently it more or less drops its own plot halfway through and just does another thing all of a sudden. It smells of reshoots and development hell. Oh, that looks... That's weird.
That looks better. Okay. DC needs to just lean into being DC instead of trying to be Marvel. I agree with that one. Well, it's not surprising, X-Wing. We've had nothing but a steady diet of superhero movies since 2000, basically. I mean, it's going on a quarter of a century. I think a lot of people are feeling enough is enough. It's a little ugly. I can probably do better, but for now that should work. DC was action comics and detective comics. Marvel was the first, was the dark and gritty and all stuff. DC was clean and colorful, no guns, Batman, and I mean super clean Superman. They'd lap Marvel if they went for it. get rid of this piece of crap that we had down here. Oh. Almost.
It's interesting that 2023 has been a bumper year for gaming and cinema. It's been struggle bus all year. That's true. Steamboat Mickey Cinematic Universe when? Oh, God. Can we be done with the endless cinematic universes, please? Or, you know, I actually like the cinematic universes, but can we at least call them something else? Do we have to use the same term for every single one? So we kind of backed ourselves into a bit of a problem here. Let's see if I can elevate that a little faster. The answer would seem to be yes, I can. That's okay. We've now got that elevated. Stara, how's it going? Just woke up because I was up ready, till dawn for Yule and then passed the heck Tom out. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance yeah, you mentioned last night Bobby that you were going to be staying up quite late. I hope it went well.
It was all right, that's good. Okay, I suppose what we can do here is we can just... Let's pick a length, maybe 54. That's close enough. here and that's entirely wrong um, you know what I don't even think I need this one come to think of it Unless I plan to continue the highway out here, which I suppose I could. this on at 20 meters for a little while while I drop this down to 10 meters The cities are going fairly well today, Anstara, except that I got it into my brain that I wanted to elevate this highway, and so I'm having to basically redo every single bit of road in this entire area to accommodate the highways lifting up and everything else going down. It's been fun. <laughs> I mean, honestly, seriously, it actually has been fun. Twenty twenty five Popeye Oh Buck Rogers. That's gonna be fun. I always really liked the Buck Rogers TV show way back when. Tarzan twenty twenty six Minnie Mouse twenty twenty seven Dick Tracy, nice. Twenty thirty Flash Gordon, also awesome. Twenty twenty or twenty thirty three Huey Dewey and Louie Duck. Twenty thirty four the Adams family, oh man, and Superman. And 2035, Batman, Blue Beetle, and Captain Marvel. Very interesting decade coming up. That's really wild. Okay. You saw the existence of the Pooh movie already, and Tigger is free in 2024, so imagine what will start coming out of that stuff. Yeah, I don't worry too much about that, though. I mean, that's the whole benefit, is that after that, people can, ex you know, exercise their creativity. And it's okay if some people don't like the results of that creativity. At least people are free to do it.
There's a new documentary about Indiana Jones on Disney+. Plus. I saw that that was there a few weeks ago. I haven't watched it yet. Okay, I'm thinking I may have miscalculated here a little bit. Or maybe not. down to ground or to uh, the 10 meter level. Oh, oh. that's what happened. <laughs> two and a half minute warning, guys. By the way, two and a half minute warning. Stop snapping. There we go. There we are. Yep, the Wednesday show was amazing. I really enjoyed that one too. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. What is this? Oh, that's a specialized factory. But we've got that available so I can extend the highway down if I need to. Oh, right. I also needed to take a look at our bus depots. We will do that when I get back from break. This is going to be, well, actually, uh, after we get back from break and after I do the uh, advent for today as well. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or drinks or snacks, this is a really good time to do it. I'm going to make some tea, so I'll be a little bit longer than usual, six to eight minutes or so. So I'll meet you back here after that. Hey, uh, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet, but I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay. Be careful with the landings. Noted. Okay. Now they can get out of there before they get eaten alive. Oh, what's going on? That's not how you barbecue.
forgot about you. Get out of my face. Oh my god, it's still only 48. Thank you. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan McLeod. Okay, I'm backing off. I'm backing off. No problem. Back! 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 <laughs> Retreating. Going away. Carry on. A closet with a closet? What the heck? Does this inn not have any rooms? Wait, what? Pet? What? Are you... Oh my god. <laughs> wow! But it was stream-related stuff, and it went incredibly well, so I'm very happy with the results. Kitchen. Ah! Food. Come here, dear. <laughs> oh no! Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Shot. Ah, Ooh. I'm hit. My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected. Damn. Uh, uh, oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. Ah, oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> How am I not dead? It's a good thing she has the worst helmet ever. Only problem is, she seems to circle around in exactly the direction I need to go. So this is gonna end badly. You have the worst! What the hell? Uh, 
I, I have no words. How did I not get caught? What the heck? I'm not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> Oh. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Oh shoot, it's a copy. How did I do that? What the heck? I wanted to take out the billboard, that was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, <laughs> <I> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Even the rebound is impressive. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> wow, it looks so nice. This is so good compared to before. Gristle is still alive after all this. Oh man, he's got that whole walking through the explosion thing down. Something's moving something around here. Here, some kind of. Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level one arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that hey, there's a spider. There we go. Oh! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! 
food. Really? something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's <laughs> see. Ah, letter from the Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh my god, the timing. <laughs> Where did it come? Okay, I am back. And we need to do the Advent Lego stuff. And yeah, Raidborn has actually updated quite a few times. So that's another one we maybe need to take another look at soon. That in Spaceborn too. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Ansara. Seems they had their third major content update, the largest to date on December 8th. Yep, yep, I remember seeing that. So maybe we'll take a look at that during a bonus stream sometime. Okay, let me just clear off some space here. So what is today? The 22nd? So we need the 22nd, the 21st, and the 20th. Yeah, looks like 19 is already done. So 20th is here. This looks like a minifig. Oh, this is Emperor Palpatine in his Christmas sweater. That's fun. 21st is up here. I don't know what this is. We'll find out. And the 20... No, wait. That's tomorrow. Forget I did that. Where's the 22nd? It's 28% off now? Yeah, Raid Board is really fun. I would uh, definitely say that is a good deal. All right. Can you guys see that? Not really? Okay. That's a bit better. Well, it's not perfect, but you can kind of make it out. So, let's see. His legs go there. Wait a minute. Oh, there's his head. That goes there. 
That goes there. His mug of hot beverage goes there. And then his force lightning goes there. There we are. Christmas Emperor Palpatine. The Lego, uh, Lego Star Wars Skywalker saga was on a really good sale on Steam, so I picked that up for PC. This kind of makes me want to play that again. <laughs> this is the Christmas sweater he wore the day that Ray's parent was conceived? Yes, indeed. Yes, it was. Oh, this is... Okay, I get it. This is his throne... That's so fun. You know, that's not a half bad idea, Aaron Lar. Okay, so we take this as the base that goes there. Then we have this, which goes here, like so. Then we've got a bunch of these, which go here, and here, and here, and here. Come on. And this is the foundation of the back of the chair. Looks like this goes here. And this goes here. This goes here. And actually, I think that's it. This clips on there, and that's it. There's his chair. I need a new Lego set soon. It's been too long. The big R2D2, I know. A uh, streamer friend of mine we've raided a number of times in the past, Nelvara, built the big R2-D2 Lego set on stream one time, and it looked so good. I really want that one too, but it's also fairly expensive, so... I don't expect to do that one anytime soon. It would be nice, but I've already got the tall neck, and I've got BD-1, so... Those are pretty awesome. I can live without that if I have to. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what this is. This isn't like a tiny Millennium Falcon, is it? I don't think it's got the cockpit, so I don't think it is. Maybe it's a Star Destroyer. So it looks like we start with this as the base. This goes here. This goes here. Yeah, I think this has got to be a Star Destroyer, not the Falcon. Yep, that's definitely a Star Destroyer. That's actually really cool.
Okay. Uh, that That's actually it. That was very fast today. That was three very cool little builds. I like that. So tomorrow we will finish the whole thing off. We will do number 23, which looks like an Ewok hang glider. 24, which is an Ewok. And that's it. That'll be the end of it. All right, let me fix my stuff back up again. There we go. The Star Destroyer is one of those ship designs that just works a simple shape and yet oh so menacing. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. It's interesting that this is not considered suitable for this factory. Where would be better? This looks like it's better. And now that I've got this all elevated, I can much more easily create a direct connection over here.
That should work. This is a little ugly, but you know, there's so many pillars in there. I don't think we've really got a lot of choice. Okay, but now we also needed to look at that bus situation. That's a tram depot. That's also a tram depot. This is Second Moon Radio. I've also got to try to remember that I have not put back the ability for people to actually get onto these highways, except out here by the airport. So that's going to be important. Only their imaginations as guides to to audio masterpiece. I now, wish you could distinguish between different types of buildings. Our souls are These are all tram depots. And but the symbols they use are exactly the same bus. as bus depots and everything. So that's a taxi depot. It'd be great if they had different colors or something. Hybrid bus or Highland bus depot. Okay. How's more buses? Perfect. That's exactly what I need. this running just yet we need to actually be able to get onto the highway actually they can get onto the highway here come to think of it but we need more than that we need connections over here so let me see if I can make that happen so if we start back here and come out here Merge in down here. <laughs> we don't want this running just yet. Gord is suddenly very happy that crowd control isn't a thing for this yet. Yeah, but that yet. That's all too real a threat. I think my first thought was, you know what would be funny? Yes.
gonna have to see how this works. That looks a little weird. smooth. I think we might have to upgrade this road. I don't think the four lanes are going to do it. of doing one lane and upgrading as needed. Okay, I think we're going to start back here. Give ourselves a little more space. see how that goes so we've got two interchanges over here I don't think I'm gonna try to fit one in here tempting as that is here we're gonna do here and here which is I think where the interchanges were originally This is another instance where we've got the four lane roads, two in each direction. I think 
we're going to upgrade that. significant land sloping there. I wonder how that's going to affect the interchanging. this as well. I'm sorry about the buildings. Oh, we've got this parking facility here. Well, you can move temporarily. really hates this dual connection, doesn't it? How about down here? Okay, I tell you what. You can't complain if you don't exist. is a second moon radio classical for the modern age unlike most modern music classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper using only their imagination going all pre-crime on them exactly audio masterpiece now here we sit listening at full volume and our souls are transported but let us not tarry. On to the next episode. another one that's going to be real awkward. Oh, 
Not too bad, actually. Oh, crap. What's this? Oh. Mm. The police headquarters is really big, unfortunately. This might be really bad for the intersection. Let's see how tight a turn we can make. Oh my god, I got away with it. <laughs> Take that. doesn't want me upgrading anything here, does it? I'm gonna force the issue. This one done. That one actually looks pretty good, all things considered, especially considering the headquarters right there. Now we have to do one here, and this is a bit tight. This might be a little bit tricky. expected more problems with this one. See how badly I've thrown the entire city into chaos. You know, I kind of want to say it was actually supposed to be Emerson Street and not Vermont Street that had the interchange, but that's okay. This does not... Oh, yeah, it, it was this because... 
this is the intersection that I've always had so much trouble with. I wonder if that'll calm down now that it's not a direct path to the highway. But having a direct highway connection straight into a T intersection is probably not the best idea anyway. Hopefully this will improve flow. got residential stuff up over here, so let me go back and we're going to put our sound barriers back in again. We can do elevated sound barriers, right? Can we not? Are you kidding? They have to be ground level highways? Alright, sucks to be you guys then. Oh, what the hell happened here? Um, well, maybe my work here is not quite done. This is going to be a problem spot. This is going to be such a problem spot. Yeah, the whole Anglo ground thing, that would be very nice. Okay, well, now we've still got lots of demand for offices, commercial, and industrial. So I think what we're going to do is put a whole bunch of office stuff in. to almost 80,000 people. I know a lot of people have made a lot larger cities, but that's okay. Oh, that's... That's weird what happened here. That's what happened here. There we go. That's better. Helps if your roads are going the correct direction. 
Uh, this is the biggest pop I've had, the mage. I don't try, like, I, I don't try to make the highest population city possible. That's just not the way I play. I try to make the best, most smoothly functioning city possible, whether it's really, really small or it starts getting really, really big. Actually, you know, I'm not sure these really need to narrow back down to two lanes at all. Like, the point of city builders for me personally has never been make the biggest city you possibly can. I mean, sometimes I do try to make the biggest city I possibly can, but that's just because I happen to feel like it. You need to beat 2.8 million at some point just to mock those Canadians? Why? What kind of future does and why am I trying to mock my fellow fast? Canadians? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. What's the CS2 record? You've heard of 300k. Um... I know Ultrasaurus has been significantly higher than 300k. I want to say the record is north of 650k, but don't quote me on that. I might be mistaken. Everyone else mocks the Canadians and 2.79 million is Toronto's population. Oh, no, it's not. Toronto was over 5 million many years ago, like decades ago. Or, actually, don't quote me on that either, because that might have been a statistic for the greater Toronto area, not for the city itself. Oh yeah, 5 million is the GTA? Okay, that makes sense. So you're probably right then. about making that GTA? Nice. So what's everyone got going on this upcoming weekend? If you haven't already answered, or even, you know, if you feel like answering again, that's fine too. For me, it's mostly going to be streaming. I'm going to be doing my super long stream of the month tomorrow. By super long, I don't mean a 24 hour or anything like that. I just mean... I will be starting around my usual start time at noon, and I just won't stop until 2 or 3 in the morning. However long that happens to end up being. I need some kind of ramp off here over to here, don't I? That would probably help. start elevated.
It's an Advent Miracle Gourd stream for three days straight because one more turn. It's true. Also, a two and a half minute warning, folks. We have a break coming up in two and a half minutes. Ads are going to run. Thank you very much if you watch them. It helps the channel out a lot. Uh, but also, I will be running clips during that time, so you're not going to miss anything. There we go. That looks more like a proper interchange. A little bit weird and funky, maybe, but I've actually seen similar in real life. So I think that'll work. So far, it all seems to be working pretty okay. Now, do I want the nightmare situation of having that actually be an intersection? Like, or, well, it has to be an intersection. Do I actually want lights here? I'm going to try without and see how that works out. Because driving doesn't need to make sense, just go vroom vroom with the one ton of metal, yes. I foresee problems with this. This is too short a ramp into too short a bit of street before the intersection. Almost wonder if it would be better to wrap this around more and try to have it lead directly into the intersection. Which is a scary thought, but I bet you it would probably work better. Maybe we'll look at doing that. I'm gonna let the simulation run for a while because uh, right now it's working well enough. We'll see how it goes when time of day becomes a factor. Right now I gotta start that break. So I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes. If you need to get up and grab something, now's the time to do it. Then why don't you take off the ask me about moon button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Whoa. Yes, whoa. Okay, that, that was a little eerie. It's so weird. Well, that's impressive, though. I like that. That's not gonna fight the dragon. And down you go. This 
steel helmet of minor alteration. Happy New Year, Dragon. <laughs> Technically, we're into November Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. We have relatively limited storage. And, um... We have 394 branches. That kind of sounds like a lot of branches. It had not occurred to me that branches are going to be the bulk of our firewood over the winter. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. We're going to employ another technique here. Close enough. That went more poorly than I expected. <laughs> okay, I am back. The more I look at this, the more I hate it. So well. This is going to be a nightmare turn. It's going to be so sharp. Oof. Well, we're going to try it, though. Let's see if we can make it happen. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterfeit. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. Uh, <clears throat> um, our story this hour, Kim is on scene outside an uh, abandoned building. That's right, Jim. This decaying shell is a symbol of the industrial decline sweeping the city. People are being laid off. The industrial sector is on the verge of collapse, and worryingly, crime is on the rise. Thanks, Kim. Always gotta watch out for crime, not to mention collapsing buildings. We'll have more after this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So I don't know if I like that any better, honestly. <laughs> yeah, on the one hand, at least it's one intersection, technically. Representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards. Well, let's see how it works. Right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? 
By certain metrics, perhaps, yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. God, that's a massive intersection. for whatever good these are going to do. We can block out a tiny little bit of noise. Hang on real quick. I've got some kind of alarm going off. I'm gonna take an unscheduled break. What on earth is... Carry on, carrying on. Okay, it was a moisture detector. The utility room has got a bit of water condensation from the cooling system and heating system, I think. I can worry about that a little later. No, no, it's happened before. It's usually pretty easy to deal with. No, I don't think it's anything like that. The water's free flowing on the floor. It's just like, or I should say, not flowing, but trickling. Uh, something that I've had to look at before. I'm not concerned.
Okay, I don't love that they're kind of going from this lane all the way over to this lane. I thought traffic was supposed to be smarter than that in this one. But aside from that, it all seems to be working pretty well. Really love that. God, what have I done? This entire thing is a disaster.
accept it. For now. just want to see if I can redraw the logic in the lanes leading up to here. So we'll have to see if this actually works. That's not terribly encouraging. Where's this? Okay, well. No, they're still doing it. Why? Why? You're back with Second Moon Radio, no. your second musical home from no. home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of music. Nope. Tonight we are doing Unacceptable. a musical tour of Italia, mm -hmm. land of art and culture, <laughs> que bon, as they say, and an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi, won't you be our guide? Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Okay, we're going to draw that there. We're going to eliminate that there. Leave that there for now. What's going on down here? Why? Ah, right. Uh, I've got to redo the tram tracks. doesn't need tram tracks. Hey, Sim Games, how goes? Just gonna upgrade that. Accidental. That's okay. to hear that. We are just taking a stab at redoing a really awkward intersection area here with a highway interchange.
Okay, fingers crossed. I'm gonna leave this at two lanes for now instead of going with the three. We'll see how it works. Now, I should also check and see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I think I accidentally killed some stops here. So let's put a couple in just a little further back. There we go. Oh, that destroyed all the zoning here, too? Crap. What did I have? I had a lot of medium and high density, didn't I? Yeah, I think this was mostly... Actually, it looks like mixed use. Well, let's get some high density offices in. We'll get some high density residential and we'll get some high density commercial Oh my god, are they still doing it? Maybe not as much. <laughs> oh. sure what to say. Well, I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe it's not as much of a problem as it seems like it's going to be. May the demons take you in your sleep. That or just get rid of those extra crosswalks. Uh, where was this again? <laughs> there's a real need to get rid of the crosswalks. I mean, strictly speaking, they probably don't need this crosswalk, really. Although, they do appear to actually be using the crosswalk. Oh, the on... No, they've got to be able to get across. We've got businesses over here, remember. If we do that, they won't be able to cross from over here to over here without some kind of pedestrian overpass or underpass, which unfortunately are 
one of the weaknesses of this game. It's really difficult to make those. They seem to treat pedestrians as if they were trains with the amount of um, slope that they're able to tolerate. So I think we're going to put in a little commercial bit here for you guys. Maybe a place that they can grab lunch. These guys are struggling to pay. Interesting that the poor folks here in this nearly identical lot are not struggling so much. Driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to. I'm wondering if maybe the problem is the Please angle at which these. If you must drive and try to stay the, off the, the ramps until conditions improve. Enter the intersection. This has been a local I wonder if I tried to get the ends to parallel You're the road more. It might be move. better. I'm not going to tear it out and redo it again right now, though. We're, we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident. Uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick That's trip medium. out, you might want to wait a while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, 
You already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. That's interesting. I think I can clean up this road a little bit. What is that? that oh, that's... Okay. That's a seven lane asymmetric. Starting to look pretty okay. How are things here? That looks like it's working all right. Now it's looking all right. It was looking okay until suddenly traffic accident. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We have no shortage of fire helicopters now. this. Uh, probably part of the same accident, I would imagine. I think something happened on the highway and some cars went flying away. now that the accident on the road level has been taken care of. Well, in theory it should. Come on, people. Drive like sane people. Yep, yeah, the traffic snake really is a real thing.
one of my favorite companies in the game, Boot and Bug. Still taking a bit to clear up, but it is clearing. Wonder if they have control alt delete captured in the game to do something. Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's a bit of a missed opportunity. They're just being dumb. Also, I'm not super fond of this. I think I'm going to... I'm gonna fix that a little bit. took care of it. Weird. Well, okay, maybe I spoke too soon, but it looks kind of like it took care of a lot of it. Okay, let's see. Romney, how's it going? Good to see you. Let's do medium density.
Made a crumpet from excess sourdough starter. Oh, that sounds really good. I haven't had crumpets in a while. I hope it turned out well. Having yourself some breakfast. That's actually funny. I have to take off in a little less than an hour to make dinner. I just had a terrible thought. I wonder what would happen. Oh, I actually, I can't do the giant roundabout here. Maybe if I got rid of that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's a bad idea. It's working for now. I might revisit later. Let's see what's going on. You know, all of these are very awkward for roundabouts, at least for the big ones. Let the intrusive thoughts win. Milton on Keynes this pitch. What? What does that mean? God, what happened there? Why is it squished at one end? You know what? I don't like that. We're gonna stick with a regular intersection. But you know what we don't need here, I think, is crosswalk. Maybe there is okay, though. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the modern age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been pinned Pitch is a place where sport is played. Milton on Keys is a place in England with the inception level three layered roundabout. Imaginations as guides through a silent audio masterpiece. Now here we sit listening at full volume and ours. What is a level three layered roundabout? I can't even picture that in my head. But let us not tell it sounds scary. On to the next episode. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an Okay, now we're supposed to have stuff over here too. Welcome, Professor. Why do we so not have stuff? The housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards in Freud. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. Oh. It is a question of priority. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores bringing the latest in luxury to our oh. neighborhood. Commercial. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local go. Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Hang on. I need to see this. Um...
I think I'm more confused now actually seeing it than I was trying to picture it. That may be the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Guys, if you are in the Discord, I recommend you go take a look at that. Or maybe don't, if you'd like your sanity. Uh, now, where was the thing? Right, I needed to fix this. I think what we're going to do, I'm going to make this a little smaller. Let's move this down to about here. There. Five mini roundabouts in a bigger roundabout with an arterial feeding lanes into six roads. Yeah. I have actually heard of things that are similar in nature in this game. Let's see. Things like that. I don't even know how you'd recreate the rest, and this is probably too big an area, but... Ugh. That just looks like Paris. I saved a YouTube video of a guy who did some pretty amazing multi-level, like vertically multi-level roundabout interchanges in his city. This one doesn't really have the verticality to try to do that kind of stuff. He was on a much less flat map. parking garage that's been repurposed not vertical in that sense more like multi-level elevations let's put it that way so the roundabout 
is just like um It's elevated like that. Only there are other roundabouts below as well. Okay, I think we're going to have to do... I'd have to watch it, Romney, but I don't think it's little ramps between them. It's more... I, I, I don't know. It's a sophisticated system. It's more like a series of highway ramps that are probably quite a lot larger. So like the one bridge in New York City that has the trains overhead as you drive under with the subway in the center, dedicated bus lane, and pedestrian bike areas on the outside that also has a toll... Probably something like that. Maybe. vehicle. I was wondering why he was stopping. They're doing road work. Okay. Uh, man. More abandonment. And this is mid. Yikes. Alright guys, three minute warning. We are going to have our final break in about three minutes. What have we got in this area? Looks like a lot of residential and a little bit of commercial. that this lane right in the middle just kind of peters out into nothing. So I think we need to fix that. Water looks weird? What do you mean? The water here? I think it looks alright. It'll Remember, I'm using this on a video card that's maybe not ideal for this game. Oh, um... could be shadow like the sun is very low right now 
It could be shadows being cast. Like, these are tree shadows. I don't know where you were looking, so I'm not sure. It's also very possible that it could be an area where I had manipulated the terrain or it was built and so you're seeing an area of steep elevation. So that happens on occasion too. Alright guys, this is going to be our final break of the afternoon. I have to take off after this and make dinner, so we're not going to be doing another break. But I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes, and we've still got a good half an hour, maybe even a little bit more to go before I have to wrap up. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's the time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Ah! Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. I believe this is it. Oh, yeah, we got cave squids. Crab squids. No. 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 I said no. Death reached. How damage imminent. No. No, no, no. No. Go away. Faked me out. Rude. Ah, oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> How am I not dead? This season. Um... think she has the worst helmet ever. Only problem is, she seems to circle around in exactly the direction I need to go. So this is gonna end badly. You have the worst! What the hell? I have no words. How did I not get caught? What the heck? We ready? Happy New Year! There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. Lilac and gooseberries. Okay, I'm back. You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare. Even the game knows I'm back. It's amazing. Tonight, <laughs> Thank we you, are Aaron Lore. That was amazing timing, yes. 
Okay, I am back. Thank you. What's going on over here? Lots of people are having trouble with their rent. I think this is more low density stuff. Eighty K. We just hit eighty K population. I am eighty percent of the way to the six figures milestone and achievement. Now I was working on this area earlier and I just kind of ignored and forgot about it after a while. How are things looking here? It actually looks fairly reasonable. I'm kind of thinking maybe these people could use some parking over in this region, though. What do we have in this area? So we've got bus stuff over here. That's about it for transit. You know, I could put another subway stop in over this way. Let me just give them an easy walkable path. Freezing rain warning. That, oh, 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 that's, oh, shoot. That's where the, oh, God, okay. I regret doing that. That's where the track is going down. Okay, it works. All is good.
All right, now what do we have zoned in this area? That looks like mixed use residential and commercial. I think we're gonna go with the park and ride concept again over here. Let's get a nice underground parking spot right across from the subway here. We're gonna upgrade this station. We're gonna do some commercial over around the station. And we'll do some nice medium density residential also in this area. Then we're gonna line this pathway that I created with trees. Um, birch trees. Not too tightly spaced. the trees. Possibility, no. Man, they really should let you upgrade these uh, pathways to have lights as well. Or give you some way to just add lighting of your own. That would be really nice. I don't like that the walkway is so dark. So, oh, landmarks. Maybe we should put a landmark in. <laughs> what are you, anti crime or something? Let's check our crime stats. There are 866 criminals in the city conducting. 128 crimes per month with a success rate of 0.8%. I kind of want a Ferris wheel. Where would we put it, though?
What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. Put it on the bank of the river. We don't have a river. Hopefully this bank will help. We'll, uh, we'll uh, be sufficient. city we'll gradually move this over get this developed more I think that'll be nice yes I do I have yes I have it only looks like a ferris wheel it's actually a transmitter What's going on here? gonna have that there I think I've got yeah there's a bus line going right through here oh and the subway passes right by here too interesting already a crosswalk there that's perfect looks like there's a lot of pedestrian paths in the ferris wheel lot so we're just gonna drop this down right to the road Put a taxi stand maybe right there. That's actually, hmm. yeah, that messed with the bus stop or the bus line, rather. That's better. No, that's what is going on with this. That's weird.
Oh, the road is a little weird. That's what's going on. Probably have to take another closer look at that in daytime. Oh god. Oh, that's awful. What the hell? You set yours to daytime all the time? I hate doing that because it interferes with the simulation when you do it. things that are different depending on whether they happen at day or at night. So I want to ensure that all of those things that are supposed to happen happen when they're supposed to happen. So no changing the time of day for me. automatically. That's pretty handy. That does not match up with what I've read at all. I mean, it even warns you uh, when you're in photo mode. Changing environment properties such as time of day or cloudiness may affect the simulation. Now, there is the argument we've made that that's not quite the same thing. But it's enough that I don't ever want to set it to just pure daylight all the time. Besides, nighttime looks amazing. It's my favorite time of day. Sure, it's a little harder to see, but it's worth it. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay, I need to fix my little walkway. to see. I can see, just maybe not quite as easily. Just because it's not as easy doesn't mean I can't see, though.
Yep, you know, that's actually working fairly well. accident. That's outside my jurisdiction. Accidents over here, fun. Oh, this is more low density stuff. What do we got here? You can go away. They can stay for now. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys? What? We're in the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the <laughs> Yet no radio announcement out about the accident uh, somewhere in the city. That's true. If anyone finds them, please. I'm sure it's coming <laughs> up any moment oh, now. Probably car. five minutes I after it's already been resolved. Deal, oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank wow. you for listening to uh, Second Moon. What? A housing shortage oh, is driving I see. Up prices in the area. Road maintenance. That's right, Got it. Okay. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutluck. Welcome, Professor. So, a housing shortage is Now, I'm curious. I haven't checked on this right? all day. Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological rewards. 19 passengers. Entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes. Five percent usage. Short term. I like Nineteen the passengers. What we are discussing is the study of Jessica, the how are you doing? It's wonderful to see you. Kind of coming Thank in you, towards Professor. the end of the stream today, I've got to say. Thank you for the shout out, Aaron Laura. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Um, our story this hour, Kim is on scene outside an uh, abandoned building. That's right, Jim. This decaying shell is a symbol of the industrial decline sweeping the city. People are being laid off. The industrial sector is on the verge of collapse. And worryingly, crime Prepping is to on travel the tomorrow. Thanks, oh, I'm having a really Always good day, Jessica. Where are you Not off to, to tomorrow? Collapsing buildings. We'll have more after this. I was going to ask why, but then, oh, so I guess the answer is you're headed probably home. See relatives and whatnot. That would make sense, given what time of year it is.
those are gonna be big ones. Totally normal people here in the stream totally keep track of holidays, yep. Definitely keep track of all the holidays. Man, this one traffic maintenance guy, the road maintenance truck, is holding up the entire highway. It's pretty amazing. all get together this time of year. The last time I saw them was on Christmas. I'm not a fan of getting out of the comfort zone of your house. Relatable. Well, I hope the trip goes well for you and that it's not too stressful getting out of your comfort zone. Just to see where it all goes. It's not a bad idea. Let's do that. It's almost enough to make me want to upgrade the highway system to a standard three lane instead of the two. Oh, the other side's got one too. It doesn't seem to be as suffering quite as bad though. If I'm not mistaken, this is the branch of the highway that goes down into the underground. It's actually going to go. Nope. Okay. It's ac exiting the highway. Now we can see this all clear up if it's going to clear up. Oh my god. It's still so busy. But at least it's not bunching up anymore. Okay, well, oh, what do we have here? Well, that's why I'm thinking maybe three lanes instead of two is default. I don't know about down in the States, but up here, that's what we use for our highway system most of the time, at least in anything remotely busy might not be the worst idea ever. Thankfully, it's a short trip, three and a half hours. You'll stay for two days. You can survive, hopefully. I'm sure you will. However, it is now about 10 to 6. That means I need to get out of here so I can make dinner. So if you guys, uh, if you guys 
want to stick around for a raid, that would be a good thing. I'm not sure where we're going to end up, but uh, we'll end up somewhere cool, I'm sure. And just a final reminder, I'm going to be doing the long stream of the month for December tomorrow. And it's actually not going to be the long stream of the month for December because I'm going to do one on New Year's Day as well. Another super long one. So I'll start around noon and then I'll just go until at least midnight, but more likely 2 or 3 a.m. So let's see who's online and who we can go pay a visit to. Looks like the game cleric is on playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, Ashleen is on playing Lethal Company. I haven't rated Ash in a while. Imperial Jedi is on playing Kerbal Space Program 2. We just raided him, but he's kind of a new friend of the channel. And we know th him through uh, Ultra's channel. Little Sia is on. We haven't raided her in forever. She's playing The Case of the Golden Idol. I think that's one of the possibly a Nancy Drew game. I'm not sure. Ash Monster FTW is on playing something called Back to the Dawn. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's... Oh, wait. Have you heard of anything called White Elephant Game Day? Because that's her stream title, which makes me doubt that it's a Nancy Drew game. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for being here. I know what a white elephant party is. I've heard of it. I can't remember off the top of my head what exactly it means. A secret Santa kind of thing. I wonder if that means she's playing a random game and... So even she might not know exactly what she's doing. You all bring a gift and go home with a random one? Yeah, okay, yeah. A streamer was talking about that recently. Like it was Lunity. She had been to a, a uh, white elephant party and ended up bringing her own gift home again. You know what? It's been a long time since we visited Avery. Let's go check her out. I don't know what she's playing. But it looks like... I don't know what this is, but it looks interesting. It reminds me a little bit of... Mad Libs and Clue put together somehow. So I think we should definitely go check her out. That happens at confirmation bias level of times. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We're going to go raid Little Zia, also known as Avery. She's been a friend of this channel for a ridiculously long time. So um, let's go see what she's got going on. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow for the long stream of the month, the first of the long streams of the month. And uh, I don't know what we're going to be playing tomorrow, but whatever it is, it's going to be fun. So here's the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message. Arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's go say hey to Avery, see what's going on with her. 
and I will be back here tomorrow. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.